Hello, this is Katie Carney from Katie Carney Stitching, and this is my floss tube number 79. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since my last video, and a lot has happened to me since then. Um, I had a pretty bad health scare. I was in the hospital for a couple days, um, and my life has been completely turned upside down, and I do not recommend. <laughs> Um, I don't want to get into all those details because you guys are here about cross-stitching and not my dreadful life right now. Um, I will say that I do think I'm on the mend and hopefully even though I have a scary diagnosis on top of what is already a scary diagnosis, I can um, have a fairly normal rest of my life, God willing. So um, that's it, I guess, for that. Uh, it's such a long story that, yeah, it's a long, awful, terrible, it's been an awful couple weeks. <laughs> but um, once I got home from the hospital, I have gotten some stitching done because initially I went back to work. I tried to go back. I took a day off after the hospital, and then I went back for a half a day, and then another half a day, and then that Monday I tried to go back full time and I had some med problems and this last week I only worked I didn't work Monday and then I took half days most of the rest of the week um, but yesterday on Friday I was able to work a full day um, we're just continuing to see what my new normal is gonna look like so that's all all we can do is be patient and uh, hopeful that's all I've got. Anyway, like I said, it's meant lots of stitching. Uh, the first thing, I did finish my 1992 Prairie Schooler Santa. I think I finished this right when I got home from the hospital. Uh, yeah, I think that first or second day after I finished this. I had still um, quite a bit to do. The jacket was not done, uh, and that's the biggest part of him. And so, here he is. So he's pretty cute. I used 18 count oatmeal Ada and uh, it's from like Hobby Lobby and then the called for DMC and then on the side in yellow I did 1992 and 2023 so that I can remember what year the Santa is and also what year I finished it. So this is my first Prairie Schooler Santa for the year and my goal is to do four a year so one done the goal was I think I finished this like April 2nd or something um, I'll be honest I haven't been keeping up with Instagram or my uh, stitchy planner it all kind of just my whole life fell apart <laughs> so I finished that and then I was sitting here thinking I want something very easy to work on nothing hard I can't now is not the time for lavender and lace. Um, so I, from my whips, pulled out Country Cottage Needleworks Sampler of the Month, and this is May. So I have January, February, March, April done. So this is the fifth one. And I'm using a 18 or 20 count Ada mystery color, and I cut it a little close. <laughs> So I started and finished this. I'm using the called for DMC. I actually, I um, don't normally love stitching these, but I thought these were really, really cute. Um, and this took me about a week. Um, I didn't do a ton of stitching, but enough. So there that is. Very cute. And then I love the greenhouse. Now, the red in the house was supposed to be the pink, and the pink on the door was supposed to be the red, but... What can you do? Wasn't, was not ripping it out. Um, and then next I will do June, which I don't have handy. Let's see if I can find that. Hang on just one second. All right. Actually, I can show you all the ones I have done. So the first couple are not on this fabric. They're on a different one, but here's January. And February. And this is the first one I did, which was March. I love March. 
and then there's April. So I'm almost half. Maybe my goal for this year will be to get through half of the year. Um, next up will be June. So there's May, April, June. So June looks like it's going to be a little summer theme. And the color I'm using now is a little darker than the called for, but it seems more appropriate than the lighter color I was using. Um, and, oh, it's a 16 count Ada. Here it is. 16 count Ada, no idea the color. So maybe my goal will be to do one more this year um, and then be halfway done. I have no idea how I'm going to finish them, um, so there's no gr there's no great rush because I don't know what I'm going to do. So no sense in rushing. Uh, and then after I finished the Prairie Schooler Santa, I did pull out the next one, and I have been working on this just a little bit. So this is the 1993 Santa, and he's a gardening Santa. Looks like he's planting poinsettias. Um, the white on the border does not really show up for me because of the color floss or the color fabric I'm using. It's very oatmeal, but I don't care. So like you can see there are stitches there. Um, really, I just need it to be like a border so I know where to finish. And then I've gotten a bit of the wheelbarrow done and one of the flowers. So, you know. I'll get it done in the next two months. They don't, if I just sit down and do them, they don't take long. So it's very feasible to do for a year because really it just takes a couple days if you just sit and do it. I'm just not great at sitting and just doing it. So that's my Prairie Schooler Santa. And then the last time I was with you all, Lord, was it right before I went in the hospital? Maybe. Uh, I was working on a pair of socks for my brother, and I told you you wouldn't be able to see them because I would be um, giving them to him at Easter, which I did, and, and I did not finish those until I got out of the hospital. I could not, um, I have very terrible veins, so when they get an IV for me, I can't move. I just have to lay there and pray that I don't blow the IV. Um, because I did blow the first one they put in me. Uh, they couldn't even get blood out of my vein. <laughs> so um, they got one in my left arm, and I'm lefty. Uh, so they got one in my left arm, and I just had to lay there. Um, so I had to eat with my right arm, and only one-handed. And it was when I could eat, I was not allowed to eat for much of my stay. Um, so yeah, anyway, I... <laughs> I got home and I finished that sock for Burke for Easter. Um, I was supposed to go to Fra had a birthday party in New Jersey on Easter Saturday. I did not go, so I actually finished the sock Easter Saturday. They were already here. And then um, Easter Sunday, I started his second pair. He had asked for two. So this is a Peyton's sock yarn. I got this at Hobby Lobby for like, I don't know, 10 bucks. Maybe, maybe the... Maybe they were 30% off or something. They were both $9, but I can't imagine I paid full price. It's a nice self-striping. It's 100% wool. Um, no, it's not. It's 25% nylon and 75% wool. So it's a self-striping, which I love. And I just turned the heel this morning. I have been um, sleeping a little later than normal. So instead of getting up at 5.30 like I normally do, I've been getting up around six, and then instead of coming back upstairs and cross-stitching with my coffee, I have been sitting by the kitchen and knitting um, for like 15 or 20 minutes instead of the like 40 I used to get. Um, and then my coffee intake is like maybe a cup and a half a day. Uh, and it's funny, I enjoy the taste of the coffee, but... Um, it doesn't really agree with me, so I should switch to decaf, but it's hard because Fra drinks coffee, so it's, you know, makes more sense to make a pot, but anyway, you guys don't care. I'm sorry. So this is my brother's, uh, second, first sock of the second pair that I'm making him. Um, so that's been my morning stitching. 
the nice thing for me about knitting is it's it's I don't have to think about it. I um, it's very very easy. It, I don't have to look at it. It just kind of happens naturally. So it has definitely been very good for me to work on in the morning. And then I've taken to after dinner watching the local news for about an hour with bra. And so if I'm up to it, I've been stitching while I sit on the couch with her. Um, the evenings get worse for me. The mornings aren't great, but the evenings are worse. <laughs> I'm a mess. Uh, anyway, uh, so after I finished um, May in the sampler series, I was like, what am I gonna work on? Should I work on a whip? Should I start something new? And then I was like, what I, What can I concentrate on? I thought about just going right to the June sampler, and I was like, mm, I don't actually love working on those, but I've started them, so I want to finish them. And I like the look of them, but I was like, no. So I decided to start one of my new starts for this year, so it's fine. <laughs> I have not started anything that I wasn't supposed to start this year so far and we're it's April 22nd so um we want to keep it at 20 whips or under so this is welcome to Rivendell I um, am doing this for my dad so it was definitely something that needed to get started um I did welcome to the Shire for him my plan is to do all of the Lord of the Rings ones for him and then all the Harry Potter ones for me um, and then obviously in, you know, a long, long time, the Lord of the Rings ones will come back to me unless my brother wants them. Obviously, if my brother wanted them, I would be so thrilled and I would give them to him. But so this is Welcome to Rivendell. It's by Country Magic Stitch. I am using 14 Count Ada, four strands of DMC Tent Stitch. And I have a shocking amount done. Two things. One, I'm using Pattern Keeper for this, uh, Country Magic Stitch works really well with Pattern Keeper and it is a game changer. Um, Country Magic Stitch, I love her stuff. It's blocks of color, they're great. But using Pattern Keeper, love it. That $89 tablet or $100 tablet or I don't remember, $150 tablet and the $10 Pattern Keeper for what I've used, it's, a, it's great, highly recommend. Anyway. This is what I have done since last Saturday morning. So Friday night I kitted it up and I put maybe 20 stitches in. And then that's what I've done this week. So my goal by the end of the weekend is to fill this part in so that I'm, I've got the two cor top corners done. Because then really once you get the top corners done, it's just making sure everything fits in there. So um, I've already completed a couple colors. I think you can definitely tell it's going to be Rivendell. I think it's beautiful. Um, I love it. And it's been the perfect, um, it's where my concentration level is right now. 14 count Ada, tent stitch, blocks of color, very easy. Um, you know, I would love to pull out a lavender lace, but I'm just not there right now. So. I'm going to keep working on this for until I am bored with it, um, which might be tomorrow because a lot of times I can only work on stuff for like a week. Um, and I am feeling better, so maybe I will move on to something a little more complicated. I doubt it, though. <laughs> It'll take some time. Um, I'm trying to be graceful with myself. <laughs> anyway, so those are my whips. And then I do have, I have like... No haul. I'm not working right now full time. I mean, I'm going to next week, but you know, I'm not getting paid. <laughs> so it's great. Everything's great. Thank God for stash. Um, I did get though, this is a, this is called the Traveler Hoodie and it's by Dre Renee Knits. I love her stuff. I have made several of her sweaters before that you guys have seen but the re I wasn't initially going to get this because I was like uh, I don't know I don't I don't like hoodies can I leave I liked the sweater itself but I thought can I leave the hoodie off and of course you can she uh she wrote the traveler directions for 
no hood right there. Now, the irony is, all the yarn I have, of which there is tons of yarn, calls for sport weight. I have none. I've got fingering, I've got worsted, but I do not have any sport weight yarn. So I was thinking about um, going to Joann's today, but <laughs> my Joann's kind of stinks now since they re they moved and reopened and I don't feel like putting on real pants because I'm in sweatpants and I don't feel like driving <laughs> and I'm nowhere near ready to start this. I have to finish Burke's socks first. Um, when it comes to knitting, I don't do whips like that. I don't have 10 whips. I'm, I usually have like a pair of socks and then something a little more complicated like a sweater um, because like socks, I can take a sock to the movie theater and work on it. Um, so my goal t is to have that hoodie without the hood done for next winter. Um, but again, we're not stressing about anything. So I think I would like to do it in like a emeraldy green, but I have to find yarn. Um, like I said, I was hoping to go to Joann's, but they probably wouldn't have a wool based sport weight. And I don't like to make clothing that is not wool, at least some wool in it. So I might just have to order from nitpicks when I start getting paid again. <laughs> um, I'm fine, but you know, it's just, I've never had to fill out FMLA paperwork. I have filled out FMLA paperwork actually for Fra, like, so I could take her to the doctor. Never did I think I would be filling it out a month later for myself. Um, but here we are. Um, and let's all thank God for the option of FMLA so that last week when I couldn't work, I could come home and put my feet up and watch Castle. Oh, I couldn't even watch Castle. I was listening to Castle. Also, so um, I have been re-watching Castle, which was one of my favorite shows when I was in college. And I never finished it. So actually, I'm, I th I'm almost... I'm. I, I'm still watching what I watched. I'm on season five, but I think season five is when I moved to New York State. And I think that's the last season, like that next year I lived in New York. And I think that's when I, that's when I stopped watching most TV live. Um, and ever since then, I just rewatch things from before 2012. Um, because that's who I am as a person. So I am 90% certain that I know I've seen, I vaguely remember seeing what I'm still watching, but I'm almost to a point where it'll be new for me again. But it has been such a gift because it's very easy, it's light, and it's funny. Um, so if you're looking for something to watch that is easy and not heavy and um, enjoyable. I highly recommend Castle. <laughs> I always loved it and I still do. So now I'm, I think there was eight seasons. So I still have some, some time and I did not start. See, I have been watching this for months. I have just like moved through the last two seasons quickly because I've been home so much, but it has been a, a gift. Um, so if you're looking for something, watch Castle. And if you want to leave me a comment about something similar to Castle that I could watch next. Um, that would be great. So Castle, it's like a, he's a writer and he starts, he's a mystery writer and he meets this New York City, beautiful New York City detective. And it's just, it's funny because he's funny and it's a little sexy and there's a little bit of mystery and and what I like about it is some of the episodes, so there's, every episode is a new, a new murder, but they also don't forget that the last episode happened. So they, you know, you do have to watch the show. Anyway, I really like that. So if you've got any ideas, I'm here for that. Also, um, I know many of you follow me on Instagram, um, either on my personal Cather Carr or on my um, stitching one, Katie Stitching. And have offered prayers, and I want you to know I feel them. Um, they are needed. They are appreciated. Um, I really turned more to my faith 
during this time of sickness than I ever have before. Um, I'm always a faithful person, but I have found myself uh, deeply turning to it and needing it and holding on to it. Um, I had the anointing of the sick in the hospital. I requested it. <laughs> the nurse was like, you're not going to die. And I was like, that's not really the point if you could find me a priest. <laughs> um, and it was beautiful. Um, this wonderful priest from Cuba came, uh, and it was his first day as the hospital chaplain where I was. Um, I was at a wonderful hospital in New Jersey, and he came and anointed me. Um, and Catholics, we, uh, we have its last rites, but it's been, it's now called anointing of the sick. You don't have to die after anymore, <laughs> but your sins are all forgiven. And I just looked at this nurse and I said, I just want to know that if I die, cause I feel like I'm going to die, even though you all keep telling me I'm not, I want to know that I'm going to go to heaven. Like, I don't want to stop. I just want to go. <laughs> and this wonderful priest came and gave me a beautiful anointing and he did it half in Spanish and half in English because English is obviously his second language and it was his first day as the hospital chaplain and it was wonderful to give a confession to someone who probably didn't understand everything I said. Um, but from that, from the very beginning as I was going through this, and knowing that people are praying for me, the sisters are definitely praying for me, and um, the priest went back and he offered mass for me, and I gotta tell you, you feel it. So, um, thank you very much. I am eternally grateful. Um, I'm, I'm better than I was. <laughs> if you could have seen me last weekend, I look like a corpse. So, I'm definitely better than then. Um, and I'm losing a little weight, so that's good. That's the goal. Um, so anyway, just keep on keeping on, friends. Know that I'm I am thrilled to be here with you and that I'm grateful for all of you and that I hope that you stay safe and well and I get better. <laughs> Have a great day. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.